Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am super excited for this video because we're going to be playing with a bunch of new indie makeup. We've got some really exciting releases to test out today and the thing that I was the most excited to put onto my face is the new Dawn Face Palette. This is from Midas Cosmetics in collaboration with Neon MUA. He came out with four different face palettes for a variety of skin tones so that everyone had a face palette that would work for them. So I went ahead and purchased the shade Dawn because it is the lightest one and I was really, really curious to try this out. There's a highlighter, a blush, a bronzer, and a contour. I did actually end up receiving this in PR as well, but I couldn't wait to see if I was getting this in PR or not. I purchased it on the pre-sale because I was so excited about this one. So we'll be playing with that today, and congratulations to Neon MUA for an amazing collab. That is more than just makeup, as they have said. And then I also have another new release from Midas Cosmetics. This is their loose setting powder in the shade Fair. Again, I did go ahead and purchase this, and then they also sent it in PR, so I'm gonna give away the extra to a friend. I also went ahead and tested out for the first time today the Drench Cosmetics Liquid Liner. Super excited about this, and then also the Way Makeup If Lipstick. I've heard really good things about this formula, so I wanted to go ahead and try it for myself. It is an Italian indie makeup brand. For eyes today, I wanted to do another look with the Cine Grace Cosmetics Times Mel Thompson Tiny Marvels palette. I already have a first impression with swatches and everything up on this palette in case you're curious to hear my thoughts more, but I was so excited to play with that again. And last but not least, my friend, well, I don't know if she'd consider me a friend, but I feel like... <laughs> I really love her, so <laughs> hello parasocial relationship. Okay, anyways, I'm so awkward, but Britt Clark did a collaboration with BK Beauty, and I did already own all the brushes in her set, so I went ahead and put them together today, and I focused on using these brushes for this look so that you could see what exactly was going on in that set in case you were curious to purchase or just hear more about the brushes in detail. That is pretty much everything. This is the longest intro ever, but if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Amy. I love indie makeup. That's what we're playing with today. That's what we play with nearly every day on my channel. So if that sounds like content that would entertain you, educate you, make you happy, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Now let's jump on into how I got this look. Dang it. You guys, I forgot to turn the mic on again and this is where I'm at. I don't know why I'm like this. I'm just gonna tell you what I did really quickly instead of taking this off and starting over again. I went ahead and primed my face with the Danessa Myricks Prism FX Hydrating Lotion. I really, really love this primer. I think it looks beautiful on the skin. And then I just dotted on my face the Cloven Hallow Liquid Skin Tint in the shade 01. And I've only used this one time so far, so I'm curious to give it another chance and just see how it looks because I'm just not that familiar with it. I didn't have any new primers, foundations, or concealers to try today, so I was just getting that out of the way, and then we'll get to the fun part. But I am going to go ahead and grab a brush from the BK Beauty Brit Clark set, and there are two different foundation brush options. You get to choose which one you want. This one here, the 106, I think this is the round foundation brush, and this is an okay foundation brush, but it's not my absolute favorite. I love the 101, which is the other option so much. This is definitely what I would recommend picking out if you were trying to decide. It's just so soft and dense. It blends foundations in beautifully, whether they're a CC cream, a liquid foundation, a stick foundation. I just think that this brush is amazing. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and use today. And I'm just going to kind of blend it into the skin, doing a little bit of dabbing, a little bit of dragging. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> this is why I never do my brows before I do foundation anymore. I just like completely took off half my tail. All right, so that foundation, I feel like it gave me a medium coverage. It has just a tiny bit of luminosity to it, but I'm pretty sure that's just the primer. Don't really know how I feel. I feel like it like looks a little bit textured and I've just been using the It Cosmetic CC Cream every single day and this looks so good on the skin that I'm looking at this and I'm like, mm not quite as good. For concealer today, I'm going to go into my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. And this one's kind of funny because I pulled out the stopper so that I could get the rest of the product out of the container and finish this off and the stopper accidentally fell inside. So I don't know how much more product I'm really going to be able to get out of this, but I'm going to go ahead and throw that on my under eyes, just adding a little bit and then a little bit on my forehead right here. I have just a tiny bit of redness, my nose, I'm just going to blend that in with a Ingold Concealer Brush from Anissa Beauty. Okay, so I'm now jumping into the first, first impression that we have today. This is the Midas Cosmetics Zero Flaws Setting Powder, and the shade is 
fair. I was just really curious to try this out. I went back and forth on purchasing it because I already have way too many loose powders, but curiosity got the best of me. So they did seem to have a pretty good shade range. There was five different shades. So I am hoping that this one will be light enough for me. So the inside does have a little stopper so that you can move it around and get product out, which I appreciate. So it's going to help it not be as messy. All right. So I just went ahead and picked up a little bit of that and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes. Remember correctly, I think this had a semi matte finish. So I guess I can see that. It looks like it's set pretty well. It's definitely not lighter than my skin, so it's not brightening, but it doesn't look like it's too dark or causing any like shadows or anything for me either. I'm also just going to go ahead and set my forehead with that. So I feel like that looks good. It does look like it set the face. Um, it feels pretty smooth. I think that I still like my Give Me Glow Cosmetic setting powder more just because that one's so blurring. But on first impression, it does look nice, so I'm curious to see how it wears and how some of my other concealers will react to this. All right, now that the face is set, let's go ahead and jump into eyes. I'm going to start off with my Crow and Pebble Eye Primer. This is the shade Parchment. A little bit of that and throwing it on my lid. All right, now jumping into the Tiny Marvels palette. I think today I'm gonna go ahead and start with this matte right here called Tree Hopper. And I'm gonna take the 201 from the BK Beauty and Brit Clark bundle. This is just a really nice, big, fluffy brush. So I'm gonna take that shade all the way through my crease and then blend upwards. All right, now I'm gonna go into the BK Beauty 202 brush, which is more of a tapered crease brush. I really, really like this one. And I'm gonna grab the shade Walkin' Stick right here. And again, just gonna go ahead and throw that through my entire crease. Such a pretty grungy shade. Thought it was gonna be a little bit more mustardy, but it's looking pretty just brown on the crease. But it's blending really well. And this brush really does get right into the crease. If you do have smaller eyes or hooded eyes, this is a great type of brush to have rather than just something that's big and fluffy all around. This is more precise. Okay, so now with the BK Beauty 207 brush, I absolutely love this one. I have two of them. I, one I bought myself and one that was PR and I use them literally all the time So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here called death moth with the pencil brush and I'm gonna pop that on my outer V Just to deepen this up a little bit, but keep it pretty precise I love this brush because literally, I mean, I'll show you guys today, I use it for my outer V. Sometimes I'll use it to bring shadows into the lid. I'll use it through my crease if I want it to be more precise. I'll use it underneath my brow bone to highlight, on my inner corner to highlight, underneath my lower lash line, just to add color or to buff things out. So it's really one of my favorite multi-purpose brushes. And I'm literally sitting here like every single day just wiping it off on my sweatpants or whatever I'm wearing so that I can use it over and over again in every look. So I really love that I have two of this one, but I'm just kind of adding into my outer V, creating the shape, and then I'll go back into the tapered blending brush and just go over the edge right there, and it blends super easy. I think I am gonna go and take a little bit of the deepest shade Spider and throw that on the outer V as well, just tapping a little bit down, adding a bit of extra depth. I feel like this neutral crease with every single shimmer in this palette would actually be really, really pretty. And then again, just going in with my blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take that pencil brush, brush it off really quickly. And for the lower lash line, I really wanna do a pop of green. So I'm gonna take this shade right here called Mantis and I'm gonna throw that along the entire lower lash line. I do feel like I have to build that up a little bit to get full impact, but it's really pretty. Okay, so now for the lid, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shade Scarab. I'm not using a glitter primer or spraying my brush or anything, just using a dry brush. And I'm going to pop that onto the outer half of the lid. That's so pretty. Oh, oh, oh no, do you see that? Oh gosh, okay. Okay, at least it's dusting right away. 
and that goes to show the setting powder set pretty well because it's not sticking but that is really really pretty wow I'm so happy that's not sticking to the cheeks. Okay, now after getting that on, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here called Fire Butts, which I have been dying to use. And I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use my finger for that one. And I'm gonna pop it onto the front of the lid. Look at how stunning that is. Oh my gosh. And then just blending that into Scarab. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and take that 202 pencil brush again, and I'm going to go into the shade Web right here, and I'm going to use that on my inner corner first. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of that underneath the brow bone as well. And then I'm just going to go back into my original blending brush and go over the edges just to make sure that nothing is harsh. All right, guys, now I'm going to do something I almost never do, which is put eyeliner on my lid. This is from Drench Cosmetics, and it is a liquid liner, I think, in, like, a pen format, which is definitely what I prefer. And I did get this through PR because it was in the Estico subscription box, and I believe that this is a small indie brand. Owner is Killer King on Twitter, so I'm very curious to try this out and see if I like it. Be fair warned, I am terrible at liner, so hopefully I don't ruin this whole look and rest my elbow on the table so I have a little bit of steadiness okay I mean that's very dark very pigmented okay I'm not going to be fancy and try to add a wing or anything but I feel like that was pretty easy to do just a very simple simple line okay that was actually surprisingly easy to use I'm super excited about that, excited to try it more. Maybe one day I'll even get a little crazy and try a wing. Not today, but maybe one day. And then really quickly to finish off this look, I'm gonna go into my Wee Makeup More Mascara. I feel like I hear an ice cream truck. I want ice cream. I just realized I forgot to throw an eyeliner in my waterline, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Linda Hauberg Cool Mood Pencil. I wish I had like a minty, like pastel green, but I don't, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Finally, let's go ahead and jump on into the Dawn palette. I'm so excited to finally try this out. I think I wanna start off by just doing some quick swatches just to see what they look and feel like on the skin. So first we have highlight, ooh. Okay, that is super creamy and buttery. It doesn't even feel like a powder in, wow, that's crazy. Okay, it almost feels, like a ColourPop Super Shock cheek. Wow, I can't stop touching it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And then we have Blush, which again, it feels pretty creamy. I mean, it feels a little bit more like a powder, but that looks like a really nice, soft, baby, cool-toned pink. And then we have Contour, which looks to be a little bit lighter. And I, it doesn't exactly look cool-toned, but it just looks very, very neutral. Okay, so there's what the contour looks like. That's actually quite warm to me for a contour for what I would typically go for. And then lastly, we have bronzer, which again, all the powders feel very creamy. And, ooh, I just dropped the palette. <laughs> Here is what bronzer looks like, which is a little bit warmer than the contour, but overall I feel like Hopefully this should work for me. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the BK Beauty 104 brush. I love this one for bronzer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit. Actually, I dipped it in, and I don't know if you can tell, it picked up quite a lot, so I'm gonna, definitely gonna tap off the excess. I'm used to using this bronzer brush with less pigmented bronzer, so let's just see. Okay. So, it's a, like I said, it's a little bit warmer, but I feel like that actually looks really good on the skin. It blended in pretty much immediately. Let me go with a little bit more, actually. Okay. So there's what it looks like built up. I feel like it's blending in really well, and the tone looks really, really nice. Huh. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly throw that around my forehead. My temples. Right, so I feel like that looks really nice. 
I would normally just stop there with bronzer. I don't typically contour every single day, but I'm gonna go ahead and try the contour out for the heck of it. Just picking up a little bit, putting that right into the highest point of the hollows of my cheekbones and blending it out. Hmm. I feel like the contour shade is just a little bit too warm to give me a natural contour because I definitely think cool tones when used very sparingly for super fair skin is more flattering and it just looks more natural because my contours are not orange. So I don't love that shade as much, but maybe I could try that one as a bronzer with a more fluffy brush and see if I can use it like that. So I don't hate the contour shade, but I don't super, super love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that on my bronzer brush. Just grab a little bit and try that on my forehead just for some extra. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind how that looks, so I think I would just use both of those shades as bronzers with big fluffy brushes. So now let's go ahead and do the blush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this same brush, but I'm going to put it right on the very top and just pick up a little bit. Then just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. That's cute. So that's definitely a shade I can kind of build up a little bit, blend in. I feel like it looks very, very natural. Just a nice cool tone pink. All right, so for the highlighter, because it's kind of a powder cream hybrid, I decided that I'm gonna try it out with two different brushes. I have the Sigma F20, no, F03 brush, and then also the Sigma Soft Blend 30 brush. So let's see what works best. All right, so I just picked up a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, that is definitely a very intense highlight, so I'm just trying to blend it in a little bit, but it looks super wet and glowy on the skin. I really like it. All right, let's see with the other brush. I mean, that makes it a little bit more natural, but I think I definitely prefer the FO3 for this one. Lastly, for lips from We Makeup, I have their Even Lip Pencil in the shade 09 Ula Eye Umber, and it's a really pretty shade, which I've tried this one before. I like their lip pencils, but I also have that exact same shade in their lipsticks, and I have not tried this one yet. I just bought this one color to try the formula out, but I think the packaging is super cool, and I think the brownie nude lipstick will look nice with this eye look, so let's, let's just do it. Alright guys, so this is the finished look and I love how it turned out. I feel like I want to wear a sweater so bad with this look, but if I wore a sweater right now, I would probably sweat to death because it is way too hot for that. It is not sweater weather yet, but let's go ahead and quickly talk about everything I tried today and how I'm feeling. The Tiny Marvels palette, this is my second time using it and I pretty much feel this exact same as the first. I think that it is super beautiful, high quality, everything blended beautifully. So I really, really love this look and there's just so much more I wanna do with this palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see another look with that today. And then for the Dawn face palette, I really really am liking this I feel like it's something I'm going to be using a ton I think the highlighter just looks absolutely stunning such a beautiful buttery creamy formula all the powders blended really really nicely like I said I'm gonna end up just using both of these as bronzers depending on how I'm feeling but I'm not mad at it I feel like overall this is a really nice palette <laughs> This is just me daydreaming, but in the future, I think it'd be really cool if Midas Cosmetics came out with the, these same four shade ranges and did a highlighter and blush duo just to add an extension to this because I know like not everyone's going to want like an icy highlighter or like a pink toned blush. I think if they did like a peachy one and then maybe a golden highlight for each shade range, I think that would be a really, really fun addition to this because this formula seems really nice. So that's just probably hopeful thinking, but I am really glad that I decided to go ahead and pick that up. I already know that I love my BK Beauty brushes, so hopefully getting to see them in action with the set was helpful for y'all. And then as far as the liner goes, like I said, so easy to work with, definitely gonna keep using that. And then for the We Makeup lipstick, I could see this 
this being a go-to fall lippy and it's just super creamy. It looks really nice on the lips, so I do like the formula. Almost forgot about the setting powder, but I do think that it set really well underneath the eyes. I'm really happy that Fallout was able to brush right off of it and I look forward to trying this more and giving you my opinions. I feel like powder normally isn't something where a first impression really tells you all that much. So that's everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.